Hi Libra, so I'm going to get straight into your reading and if there's anything else that you feel that you need to know, especially if you're new to tarot as well, then you can find all the information you need in my descriptions box and in my pinned comments below. As always, you, you just take what resonates for you and you leave what doesn't, okay? Uh, cross watchers, please feel free to switch the energies around if you feel that it uh, fits your situation better in reverse. But as always, it, just remember that it might not even be your story at all, okay? All right. So with this being the start of the month, Libra, this is just a general life reading. And the love reads are mid-month unless love happens to come out of this read. All right. So your first card out is protection. This is a very, um, it's a card that reminds me a lot of the Empress, it's like that sort of divine feminine energy. Just excuse me a second, I've got remnants of a burnt Palo Santo on my table. Right, let's get into this for you Libra. Okay, so you can see how similar this is to the Empress card, the, the divine feminine energy. And as you'll know, the Empress, it is associated with Taurus and Libra energy. Okay, so with this one, what I'm getting is for some of you, you could be feeling really, really protective at this time, um, protecting your nearest and dearest. Um, for the most part, though, this is about you protecting your own energy and protecting your own future as well. Um, you you guard in you guard in yourself. Um, but it, it's not about you pushing others away, okay? This is about healthy cynicism. So you, you're not just going to allow anybody to come strolling into your life, take whatever they want from you and then F off again, basically. Those, those days are gone, right? So there, there's that healthy cynicism. Now, this is also a card about divine protection and guidance as well. So you, you could be feeling the benefits of being divinely guided. There, there's, some, there's two butterflies in this card. And of course, that does pertain to change, transformation, painful transitions as well, but very necessary transitions. Um, there's also white flowers and the white flowers, they, they remind me of the, the flower that you see on the death card, which is all about liberation, freedom of spirit. Um, so you're finding, you're finding your strength in protecting what is near and dear to you. It, it's, it has given you the sense of liberation because it's, it's a power that you tend not to use very often, if that makes sense. Um, it's like, that there's emphasis, or in the past there was emphasis on not saying what you wanted to say to somebody in fear of like hurting their feelings. This is all about throwing that away, you know, no, no longer putting too much stock into what others may or may not think about you. And that's where the liberation's coming from. For those of you who are more sort of, like if you're feeling overly sensitive at this time, or if you're um, a bit more empathic, I, 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 I don't really like using that word. I don't know why, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. I think it gets thrown around quite a lot. Um, so let's say highly sensitive person. Okay, if you can pick up the, the vibes from others, anything like that, um, then it would be a good idea to focus on surrounding yourself with individuals who don't drain your energies, because this is also about protecting your energy, protecting your vibe, um, making sure that you're not giving away your energies to individuals who are just trying to feed off of you, you, you know, that sort of thing. 
Um, pay attention to how you feel when you come away from talking to certain individuals. Do you feel empowered and invigorated after talking to someone or do you feel drained and really negative? Okay, so analyze your, uh, your, your social circle and make sure that you're surrounding yourself with individuals who um, genuinely wish well for you. Okay. Keep yourself grounded as well. Right. So we are going to start putting your tarot and we'll see if we can get further information from this for you. What's Libra's energy currently, please? It's Libra's energy at this time, please. Thank you. King of Cups. Beautiful scorpion energy. So you're feeling... Um, more energetic. You, you. Th this is all about having your emotions in a healthy balance. It's being emotionally mature. It's knowing what you want when you see it and going for it. It's Libra's energy. Thank you. Ace of Swords, but it's come out. A uh, yeah, it did come out off balance, didn't it? It's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Truth, clarity, revelation, a breakthrough. What's that? Ace of coins in reverse. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to clarify this. Just give me a second. Why the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Coins in reverse, please? Thank you. The Tower in reverse. Mm -hmm. Libra, there, this could be telling me, but these two Aces, one of them in reverse, the Ace of Swords came out off balance and the Tower in reverse. This is telling me that you, emotionally, right now, you're actually in a good place with this King of Cups, right? You're in a really good emotional place right now. You know what's real, you know what's fantasy, you know what you want, you know what you don't want. It's very, very difficult to pull somebody out of this King of Cups vibe, okay? Really, really difficult because the King of Cups energy is all about someone who's got a clear understanding of their own truth, okay? You've got someone here, Libra, who is trying to do a U-turn on something. There, there could have been a lie here. There was something that was said that was um, an embellishment of the truth. That there was a grain of truth within a lie and that is what made a lie very powerful. Because think about it this way. If somebody's going to tell a lie and if they're going to just completely invent something out of the blue, right, it's not going to make sense. Therefore, if it doesn't make sense, then it's probably a lie, okay? If they insert a grain of truth within a lie, it makes the lie more believable. And that's where the saying, there's no smoke without fire comes from. It comes from, it, it actually, it's, it's a twisted version of um, find the truth w within the lie or the lie within the truth. You've got categorically, Libra, you've got somebody who's trying to do a U-turn. Tell us more about this Ace of Coin in reverse. Thank you. The Four of Coins in reverse. And before anybody asks, well, what way are you holding your deck? 
I'm holding my deck the correct way up, okay, just in case anybody's curious and wondering why these reversals. You've got the Four of Cups under there. That's Cancerian energy. That's not seeing something. It's ignoring something. It's the card of being bored and discontent. And the four of coins in reverse, that sun in Capricorn energy. You've got the tower, which is Mars energy, Aries and Scorpion. And the ace of coins is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a regret in, in, this, in this read. Now, Libra, I don't know if this is you that's carrying a regret and trying to, to do a U-turn on something, or if this is someone that you're dealing with, okay? This is general reading. So you're gonna have to use your best discernment and take it as it's resonating for you, indeed, if it's resonating at all, all right? The only thing that I can do for you, Libra, is read your cards and read them as best I can. And I am seeing clearly Somebody is trying to do a U-turn. If somebody was being jealous and possessive over you, Libra, I'm still seeing the same. I'm still seeing the same. That there's... I, I don't know what, what... What is their end game here? Why the games? Why the games? Why the lies? What, what was it that they were trying to achieve with this? It, it's like someone is trying to get you to um, see things from their point of view, but the way that they're doing it is not ideal because it's still coming across as being icky. It, it's, you know... Oh... Okay, right. What's the outside influence that's affecting Libra at this time, please? There could be a bit of love bombing and hoovering that's taking place as well, Libra. Again, use your best discernment, keep yourself grounded. Okay, protect your energy, make sure that you're surrounding yourself with individuals that, that you feel are a positive influence in your life. All right. I don't know, that, that this is a bit weird. It's really weird. Outside influences for Libra, please. Thank you. Empress. Budumch. Empress. Same energy that I was feeling here. Divine feminine energy. Libra Taurus. The Ten of Coins. Virgo energy. And the Hierophant. Taurus energy. So again, take, take it as it resonates for you, if at all. Your outside influences are telling me, Libra, that this is a partner an ex-partner, someone that you had children with, anybody that you were in a committed situation with, so it could be ex-wife, ex-husband, anything like that. And for some of you as well, this could even be your own parent, one of your own parents, most likely your mother, okay? Um, we're seeing that there's a desire to provide, to commit, to grow, to nurture, right? So somebody is trying to do a U-turn back towards you, Libra, with this, Ten of Coins, Hierophant, Empress energy. Okay, I'm going to clarify these because there, there's something, there's something amiss that there is something seriously amiss with this and it, I don't know, it, it, the Empress, what's going on? Like, what is going on? This is to clarify the Empress. 
you got the chariot of balance cancerian energy the uh, the temperance card sagittarius in reverse nine of wands in reverse gemini energy seven of wands in reverse leo energy that's a u-turn if ever i saw one like for real um there, there could be somebody who is having issues with a vehicle we saw that and you read the last time libra right um for a lot of people uh, a means of personal transport is their their freedom okay so i, I would just keep keep a check on that anything that feels dodgy just remove yourself from anybody who feels even remotely dodgy to you okay uh, you might have recently lost a vehicle okay so therefore you're feeling a bit stuck uh, very, very restricted when it comes down to your own personal freedoms the global situation to a side because i'm not talking about that right now i'm talking about your own personal situation okay um it it's indicating that you might find that somebody who you removed from your life is trying to take advantage of your recent um, loss of freedoms. You, you recent, like if your car's recently been written off or anything like that, anything that. Um, that, that has stopped you from doing things that you usually do you've got another individual who is basically trying to take advantage of that all right um they're, they're trying to insert themselves into your life while looking like they're helping um i don't know with with all these reversals libra it it's suspicious is really really suspicious and the temperance in reverse it's it's all about impatience as well someone's getting really impatient that's an outside influence the nine of wands in reverse not thinking things through properly uh, wanting to get something off of their chest as well so this is someone who has got something to say to you and then the seven of wands in reverse um that there you might have blocked this individual uh there, there could have been arguments consistently with this individual that's why you decided to eject them from your life um that, that they're looking for a way back in basically okay um that they're getting really impatient and they're saying unblock me unblock me unblock me right i don't know it definitely feels like they're trying to take advantage of a recent unfortunate situation that you've gone through and that was all to clarify the empress as well i'm feeling for the most part that this empress energy is actually your energy libra i genuinely do feel that whether you're whether you identify as being feminine masculine gender fluid honestly makes no difference okay it is just the energies um i'm feeling that for the most part the empress is absolutely your energy and and someone is trying to oh right why the hierophant please the hierophant is telling me that there's a lesson that someone has gone through it it's like they're saying i've learned my lesson now libra i've learned my lesson will you take me back i've learned my lesson um unblock me unblock me so i don't know hierophant is clarified with the king of coins more taurus energy heavy heavy taurus energy in this read um again commitment it's another card about commitment you could you might have been married to this individual if it if it's obviously if it's not a, a member of your family um it could also be for some of you it could be a business partner an ex business partner where, where yous were both um committed 
to a work situation and things have turned sour. They, they refused to keep you informed about things that were needing done, uh, things that were supposed to happen. They, they might have made you look inept in some way. Huh. Okay, what's the outcome or the guidance here, please, for Libra? Five of Cups. It's Mars in Scorpio energy. Um, somebody could be wallowing in self-pity. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. So using their emotions to make a decision to come towards you in Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Mm. What's the intent behind this Knight of Cups, please? Thank you. Hanged man in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. And again, just to show you which way I was holding up the deck. The magician. <laughs> nice. So yeah, whenever we see reversals, it's supposed to be in reverse. So the intent behind this Knight of Cups, which is this emotional conversation, it's basically... Um, they, they're coming towards you, Libra, with this emotional conversation, with the hopes that they can feel better about the situation. Um, the hanged man, again, with that being in reverse, it, it's all about someone feels that they have all of the information that they need, that they, they feel like there's, um, like they, they've done what they can, they've waited long enough, they're getting impatient, which we already saw. Um, it's taking decisive action. It's no longer keeping things swinging in limbo. And the Five of Swords in reverse. So that can indicate coming clean as well. Um, it's showing that this particular individual, there, there was, with that Five of Swords in reverse, it's like, past resentments being resolved and the desire to make an amends or the desire to forgive. And with the Queen of Wands energy here as well, it's showing that um, there's, there's a lot of determination behind their actions towards you, okay? The energy at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords, Libra energy. Rest, rejuvenate, reevaluate, reconsider, meditate. Um, there, there's certainly trust issues here, and it hasn't come out of nowhere, right? There, there's a reason why you don't trust this individual, and you should listen to that, okay? When you meditate, it's listening for answers and the answers come from your higher self. So you, you're gonna have to take your time with this one, Libra. And three of wands under there. Expecting you to reach out, expecting you to initiate something. Yeah, three of swords, yeah. Um, but I'm seeing that, that you didn't that you didn't, which is a good thing, because it's making them take action towards you. Interesting. And of course, we did see the magician at the bottom of there with the two of coins and the three of cups, page of coins, the moon, the lovers, nine of swords, ace of cups, five of cups, four of wands, three of swords, queen of wands. Hmm. This is a love turned sour and they are trying to do a U-turn. If, if you were left, 
Libra, if you were left in favour of somebody else, we're seeing um, that if someone did that to you, then they resent the other person that they left you for, that they resent that other person. Because that it, it's showing me in that deck there, it's showing me that basically someone gave up the best thing that they ever had in favour of like a, oh God, I don't want to say it, but in favour of like a cheap copy. And they've realised their mistake. I'll leave that one there, okay? That's the Libra, please. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Turn over a new page. Let love lead the way for a change. Mm. Okay, so we'll do the usual rule of three with these healing messages. First message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. Right. Possessions and belongings can create restraint and the feeling of carrying a burden. Too much information brings about confusion when making decisions. You may consider this as an opportunity to turn over a new page. Hafiz recommends that you tell the wind to blow away the feeling of attachments and open your heart to receive the energy of love that is like a fragrance in the air. Let it surround and shelter you with a pure love you have never known before. Now is a good time for you to pause and reflect on your current path. Are you headed in the right direction? Are you happy with the progress that you've made within the past year or so? If you feel if there's any room for improvement, then let go of your fears and concerns and begin to make some changes. Set aside excuses about being too short of energy and manifest changes with determination. This oracle's message is for you to focus on and gain enjoyment from your personal connections. Open your heart to love and embrace any opportunity to connect with people, whether they're potential partners, friends or business associates. Initiate a meeting with someone who could be influential in some way. The more you can connect with your friends, neighbours, partners, lovers and the people that you meet, then the happier you'll be. Not only that, but the opportunities may well arise from your interactions with others. So open your heart to everyone that you meet. And the mantra that comes with this card is, I am opening my heart to give and receive more love. So if you've been feeling um, vulnerable more recently, if you feel like your social circle is getting smaller and smaller with age, um, that they're saying it's okay for you to branch out and to make brand new connections. And who knows where that could lead? That, that could lead you to a path of finding new love. The thing to remember here, Libra, is if you're feeling lonely and vulnerable and then all of a sudden you've got toxic people from your past that try and come back in and they start love bombing you and all the rest of it, that opens the door to allowing the cycles to repeat. So basically the message in your reading, Libra, is don't, don't drink poison just because you're feeling in a vulnerable or lonely place. Okay. It's for Libra, please. Oh, interesting. Right, so you've got chakra balance, harmony, and it says harmony makes the song of life sweeter. And it's suggesting that green jasper, turquoise or labradorite could be beneficial for you at this time. So yeah, harmony makes the song of life sweeter. It's time to regain your balance and remember, love bombing can be really, really dangerous because oftentimes the ones who do the love bombing have done their research and you, you'll find that they've been spying on you for quite a while as well. So that's, that's when they know when to take advantage in that exact moment. 
okay? Don't drink the poison just because you're lonely. Okay, if anybody is easily offended at swearing, then you should probably switch out now because this deck is the Rebel deck. It's very blunt, brutal, and it can be a bit offensive. So if that's not your sort of thing, then you might want to turn away now. Okay, right. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. The world is your oyster, Libra. Make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. So there's no need to repeat the old cycles, basically. Don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Stop obsessing. You're not the fucking centre of the universe. I, th I would say that's more for whoever it is that you're dealing with. They They seem to think that they've still got some kind of control over you or any kind of say in what happens in your life and you look like a shit show you're a hot mess fact clean yourself up really interesting read libra so that is what i have for you if you'd like to book a private reading with me then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below thank you so so much for watching have a lovely week and i'll see you in the next one bye